Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 18th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon. I go live every day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, make sure to do that and you will catch me live. But let's see what we have going on for you here, Taurus, for this week. And uh, let's keep going here and all right and i just lost that all right um you show up with the six of spades here and the two of clubs now, a lot of people get in this two of clubs this week for some reason it's kind of needing to talk yourself into doing something needing to talk yourself into um you know doing something that you know is right for you so i mean this could be anything it could be involving your health it could be involving your business or finances pretty much anything but I do feel like you have to do it. Six of Spades is a card called the Tower. It's not like really like the Tower in um, the Tarot, but it's similar, and it can represent taking some sort of risk or kind of like taking a leap of faith. So uh, I do feel like you kind of, that's what you need to do here with these two cards. This can also just be a card of improvement, so it's a pretty good card overall. Uh, next, you have the Ace of Hearts, so Love and Eight of Diamonds. Yeah, I feel like Love requires work for you right now, Taurus. So I'd say if you're like interested in love or if you're interested in building a relationship, I do feel like it's going to literally take work to kind of get it off the ground and to get things moving forward for some of you. This is a very good card, though, because it does say that you could be overflowing with love. So it's like you have more than enough to give. So it does say that just putting the work in will lead to success. For others, this could be you trying to get a job that you are just more passionate about or you're trying to get something that is more fulfilling. So I do feel like some of you are trying to just get a job that's fulfilling, that makes you happy, that you actually want to go to every single day. And, you know, I feel like a lot of you could just be working towards that uh, at this time. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Clubs here. I feel like you're very attractive at this time. Yeah, I do feel like, I feel like you could be attracting somebody very specific in your life here is what I'd say Taurus so um, it's kind of a weird message but I just feel like there's like somebody very specific that's coming in for you I feel like it's this right here I feel like it's a king of hearts type person somebody very kind caring compassionate you know nurturing loving type of person but I also feel like they're very bold at the same time like I don't, I don't feel like I feel like they have all those good traits but I feel like they also are um, I feel like they have a very strong like masculine side as well and this could be you know it could be any sex by the way that I'm talking about here but I just feel like whoever it is I feel like they kind of have like this very strong um, you know I don't know if that's the right word it might maybe just bold and strong are the the words that I'm looking for here, but I do feel like if you're looking for love, that could be coming in for you. I feel like they're very attracted to you as well. Uh, for others, this could be a relationship that you're already in. So it could just say that like a lot of that energy that I just spoke about is like coming into the relationship in, in different ways, and that could be good as well. Uh, next, you have the Five of Clubs and the Five of Hearts. A uh, bunch of fives coming up this week as well. Five of Clubs is a card of the adventurer. It says it might be time for you to take an adventure. It might be time for you like to go on a vacation, take a break, or literally it might be time for an adventure. It might be time to like travel somewhere far away. It might be time to start a business, pretty much anything. Five of Hearts is the birth of something new. So a lot of you could be birthing new uh, relationships into your life, or you could be birthing new anything into your life, new jobs, new businesses, pretty much anything. This combination would also represent fighting. So I'd say like no fighting, no arguments in the home this week. I'd say no, you know, fighting with people in your life. No, no, none of that. This is just bad. This is like bad for arguments. You're going to lose both. Pe everybody loses with these two cards here. It's bad for like gossip, lies, like any of that type of stuff. So I just stay away from all that energy uh, with these two cards. Next, you have the Ten of Spades and the Queen of Diamonds. I definitely feel like some of you want to move i feel like this is all you always get moving messages it's like you and scorpio uh in the daily readings always get these messages of moving or movement coming up i feel like some of you could have the choice to move like literally where you live and i do feel like it would lead to i feel like it would be very positive i feel like it would lead to a lot of really great changes and a lot of success for you here so i do feel like that will be um really good and i also feel like that this could be saying that there's like a new path opening up for you financially, but it's something new, you know, and it might involve cutting something out basically. So what this says is that the Ten of Spades says maybe you have a job, but maybe you get another offer. Maybe you really like your job, but it's like maybe there's something better. So maybe you have to cut something out. Same thing with love as well. It could say that you're like kind of taking a risk in love or, you know, you could be like cutting something out in love 
to find something better in some way. Uh, and finally, you have the Fool, Leap of Faith, and Nine of Diamonds. What do you know? Nine of, these are very similar cards. Uh, Nine of Diamonds is called the Coffin. Normally, when there's a coffin on this card, it does say that um, you need to open the coffin door. Basically, you are inside this coffin here, and it's like you need to open the door to a new life. So it's very similar to Taking a Leap of Faith. So I feel like, really, you have a very singular message this week. I feel like Leap of Faith towards something new, basically cutting something out of your life. So, uh, but it looks really good here, uh, Taurus. So I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like there's a lot of good stuff coming in for you here. I feel like I've been saying Virgo this whole video. If I have, I apologize, Taurus, but <laughs> I don't, I'm losing my mind. So, uh, thank you and, uh, enjoy your week.